Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome to this bunker hobby tip. So plastic models are brilliant, aren't they? They're really sort of taking over the industry, so on and so forth. But I personally am a bit old school and I love the detail you can get in resin miniatures, such as these models I'm building up for the Carnivale miniature game. Um, now, they come with a slotter base. There you go. So you can slot them in and do some cool water effects and so on and so forth. But you can also get these really cool resin cobblestone bases but once you take the slotter off if you stick that down is it going to come on so what we really need to do is pin now pinning is a, an art form i think that's becoming less and less frequent really and that's fair enough and i'm going to show you how i pin uh, quick and easily now i don't use a pin vice drill you can use a dremel so on and so forth but what i actually use is a an electric screwdriver um, set on the lowest setting obviously and take a lot of care to to not hurt ourselves basically and the idea is you can drill a pin into the the feet of the miniatures set them off and then you, you just have that stability to your model as you're going forward so what we need first of all is some wire that is the same thickness as our drill bit I picked this up off eBay it's really really cheap really uh, easy <laughs> to get clippers super glue the miniature itself the base and because we're dealing with resin guys I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put my mask on okay so we look at the base of the miniature and there's a really sort of good couple of points there so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a pin right down the middle of his his legs because you've got to think about where it's going to come out and so on and so forth so to do that I'm just going to take my hobby knife and I'm going to start a little guide hole off and all I'm going to do guys is just do a bit of a a drilling motion just like that and this is just to give the drill some purchase you know the key thing here is we love our hobby obviously we do but we don't want to hurt ourselves okay so do make make sort of sure you're taking care with this and if you're one of our younger gamers don't don't do this please ask an adult for help so that's a start there now if you wanted to you could put that in a vice put it in a clamp, use some foam around it so you don't damage the miniature. But what I'm going to do there, I'm going to drill into the miniature. So as I line up, the reason we have our mask on this dust is very toxic okay and there we go one pinhole in the bottom of our miniature and as we sort of double our wire into it there we go so it goes in a decent way you don't need to go all the way up him <laughs> it's not going to need anything like that but the more you put in there obviously the the more secure it's going to be so i'll take a length of wire now and i'm going to clip a, a straight length as possible and again, you, you don't need acres of this. You don't need loads and loads and loads of it. And then we're going to use our super glue. And we're going to cut the sort of end of the, the wire that's going into the miniature. Again, glue. You don't need, you know, don't over glue things. You don't need to. And then in we go. Okay. Now, at that stage... We now need to leave that to dry. As our large miniature is drying, I'll go back to the one that I pre-started earlier. So there's his pin, it's all up his leg, so to speak, and then we're going to position him on the base. So think about where you want him on the base. I think they'll look pretty cool. And I'm going to try and aim in between the cobblestones. I'm just using a sharpie because I want my my hole to be there. Okay. So what I'm thinking is. In those cobblestones gives the drill a nice purchase that pin will go down there and give him plenty of purchase on the base okay so back in with our drill let's move our miniature aside taking ample care again guys you don't want to hurt yourselves that's not what this is about That's our hole in our base okay now I've gone further through the base what was the idea here there 
we go it'll sit nicely on there and it's just ample sort of size at the end so what the pin will do is obviously add stability and it'll make it less likely to snap off basically so now it's dead easy just put the super glue on the face don't be afraid to cover the pin as well and in he goes okay and that is one pin miniature so that's number one done if we go over to our big boy he's probably dry now so obviously the base if we, we, we don't want to pin that big do we so what we're going to do we're going to go to the end there and we're going to nip him off like that keep all these bits as well they're dead useful and think about where he's going so he really wants to be sort of central doesn't he so exactly the same again guys i've got my sharpie i'm going to I'm trying to line it with a cobblestone look. I'm going to have him a bit further forward on the base. So we'll put him there. Okay. Just dot it with a sharpie. Put the lid on our glue so all the dust doesn't cement the end up. And again, in we come with the drill. Being careful as we can. Line it up first. We've got a nice hole through there as well watching our fingers making sure everything's always safe safety first guys yeah we love the hobby but let's just make sure we don't kill ourselves or damage ourselves beyond repair <laughs> i'm going to come in with my super glue all over the fastening points on the feet and the pin again is just going to add stability to this miniature and we're going to line him up like such and there we go another pin model let's go over to our original one there he is all pinned ready for action once he's painted so yeah basics of pinning so top things to bear in mind wear a mask when dealing with red if you're one of our younger gamers please don't do this do ask an adult for help don't be afraid to use advice to hold things um, i've done this a lot and i've done it a long time um, don't hurt yourselves basically if you're going to use a power tool like I do make sure you get a low power one Don't be using a walls mounted mains one <laughs> Anything like that Dremels are brilliant for this But you know if you're ever using anything with blades drills cutting with tools do be do take care Okay, your your safety is more important than our models. So but other than that. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it That's uh, that's the basics of pinning. So yeah, thanks for watching guys wherever you're in the world stay safe stay well and happy hobbying